Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Autos. So a bit of a different video, this one, but uh, I thought I'd make this video because there's very little information about these online and uh, someone might find it useful. So this is a heater from a Renault Kangoo Electric, a Renault Kangoo ZE. Um, the part number is 27143393535R. And this is called the PTC heater and it's sort of becoming a bit of a problem on the Kangoo ZE because these uh, are failing and they are hugely expensive as well. So this is one that has been replaced. This is a failed heater from a 2014 Kangoo that had only done, I'm just looking up there, it's only done 8,300 miles and that heater unit had failed. So uh, in this case uh, we used a Renault dealership and they changed that and I kept the part with a view of trying to find out um, what fails on them uh, but haven't got round to it, just don't have the time. Um, so before you know this gets thrown in the bin I thought I might as well make this video and document what these heaters are um, and also ask if anyone knows about them and knows whether they can be repaired as well. So these heaters um, are fitted on the Kangoo ZEs that's the 22 kilowatt hour models from uh, 2010 to 2017 2018 or so when the 33 kilowatt hour models came in so the original kangoos from those years have the motor uh, that's made by continental and they have a resistive heater and this is the heater unit um, the similar motor is also fitted in the zoe's but all zoe's have heat pumps so they won't have a, a ptc heater like this so this is basically a 400 volt kettle really so um, being an orange connector there this will be your high voltage input your 400 volts from the traction battery because on a, an electric car um, typically the heating system draws power from the traction battery and then the yellow bungs either end is uh, your water inlets and outlets so basically this is just a, a heater box and inside there will be a 400 volt element heating up the water and then it gets pumped down the um, heater matrix. So I assume that what fails with these is just the element, just like it does in uh, your, your oven, in your cooker. Um, so I suspect it's relatively easy to repair. There's obviously got clips all around, it will come apart, um, but you just can't buy the bits. But if anyone knows whether you can buy the elements and whether these are repairable do let me know because um, these are incredibly expensive uh, the i'm just looking at the invoice behind me here these are 853 pounds plus fat uh, so it's a bit of a shame that these are getting replaced without being repaired because if it's just an element if that element could be sourced it would be a very cheap repair so if anyone does know anything about these and whether they're repairable, then do um, get in contact um, and write in the comments below. Um, but if not, you know, if anyone's interested in this, to look at it, to diagnose it, to see whether these things are repairable, again, let me know. Um, I'm not going to do anything with this one now. Um, but obviously I don't want to throw it away in the bin. If something could be done to help other future Kangoo drivers, then I'm willing to um, help out and donate this um, if, it's, if someone can do something with it and help future EV drivers. So let's just show you underneath because we've got a sticker here. Um, we've got Nissan, Renault, made in Germany. I don't know whether these are actually fitted on any Nissan vehicles. Um, uh, obviously most of the leaves have a heat pump, but the Vizia models, um, the lower spec leaves, have a resistive heater, so maybe it's fitted on these. And obviously the earlier leaves had um, resistive heater as well. Uh, and maybe on the ENV 200s. Uh, but it says here 4 kilowatt. Um, it's got a different part number actually, just comparing that with the box. Yeah, this is saying 27143. 
7360RET. Uh, but Nissan and Renault have a habit of changing part numbers for the same part anyway, um, so we can't really read too much into that. Uh, but we can also see here the, what's probably the manufacturer of it. Um, I can read that. Eber. 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 Uh, Eber Spatcher. I think that says it's very small. Anyway, I'll put that in the um, comments in the description below the video. Um, but yeah, if you. Uh, I'm sure the manufacturer um, could repair these or maybe supply the elements. Um, it just seems it's such a ridiculously expensive unit to be replacing them without repairing them um, and obviously being plastic it's just an element and a water box um, I can't see why they should be so expensive uh, surely there must be some um, heifer garages out there that have changed these so if any of you guys are watching and you've um, know how to repair these or, or maybe you're just replacing them like Renault dealers are but it's such an expensive item it's a shame that these are getting replaced and thrown away without being repaired anyway that's about all i can tell you about the unit if anyone knows any more then um, do let me know and as always if you found this video interesting please do click that thumbs up button on youtube because that really does help other people find the channel and uh, more ev videos soon